What's up, fish tank people? FishtankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday. Baby, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So this video is being brought to you early morning, Sunday morning, inside of Reefa Palooza, an almost, almost entirely saltwater show, but uh, we have our own little fresh fest going on. And in today's video, I wanna walk you around, take you around these 10 tanks that are competing for one trophy. It's not a heavy duty judging, it's just everybody competes, winner takes all, gets $200 cash, and a bunch of these tissue culture plants from our friends at General and JBJ. So I wanna show you around these tanks, but first and foremost, before we get into that, I've said it in other videos and I'm gonna say it again, I try to view this contest and I think aquascaping should be viewed as a celebration of art. Each one of these people came and created something entirely of their own. They've got their own style, their own flows. Uh, you'll see that too. There are all these, all 10 of these tanks are completely different. I'm going to show you around in just a second here, each one of these individual tanks. So I'm super pumped uh, to be showing you all of this. Uh, shout outs to Denerla and JBJ for making this possible. These are all being done in the aquascapers, uh, the scapers tanks behind me here. So without further ado, I'm gonna walk you around. While no one's in here, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Gonna show you guys uh, up close and personal with each one of these tanks. I'd love for you to leave me a comment uh, in the videos of which one you like the most and why, or if you have any questions about it, I can try to get the aquascapers uh, to come in and on the comments and answer them. Uh, I'm really pumped to be doing this the second year we're doing it. Uh, you can click the links around here to see some of these people, about 60% of the people in this contest competed last year, so you can click the link uh, up there or whatever and check out some of the tanks they did last year to see how kind of their styles have evolved. And uh, yeah, the winners are announced at 11, so if you are in the New York, New Jersey area, please come check this out. And uh, let's check out some of these tanks here. Pull this up here. So I'm not gonna, I don't know. I wanna tell you my favorite, but I wanna show you guys around. So this is Richard Bennett. He is new this year to the contest. And I really like what he's doing. He was going for, he wanted the look of the tannins in there and I think the water has cleared up a little bit, but he did want a little bit of a murkiness. But these tanks have sat all night long. You hear my voice is a little raspy. Didn't even go out last night. And um, it's, it's looking really sharp. The water had a chance to clear. The fish all look good. You weren't required to have fish in this contest. He's got some Busa Philandra in the front here. That's some Java Fern. I believe that's some Starro right there as well. And then the Java Moss up on the log. So I like the depth. I like the way it pulls your eyes back that way. I also am a fan of the uh, the red plant. It's some sort of a Laguigia, I believe, right there. Not sure what that is, but that's a hot plant. So Richard Bennett rolling it here. Definitely looking pretty sharp. Um, pumped to see that going on. Next we have Victor. Now Victor uh, is great because he has these really unique plants in here and he has some stuff up on my Facebook page as well of some tanks that he keeps at home. He's got the Starro in the front, Hygrophila pindafina. He's got a pink flamingo crip and you know I love the live bears. Click the links around, check out some of my live bear videos if you like that action. He's got some Tonina bellum, but it's a different type of Tonina. It's a really hard plant to keep. And then he's got this plant. I don't exactly know what it is. He says it's poisonous when it's grown above water. I'm definitely taking some of it home. So uh, shout out to Victor for throwing down a really hot tank here. I believe that's Blixa in the back. So let me know what you guys think about this tank right here. I'm gonna take you around over here. Evan is also a new uh, contestant this year. We went up from eight contestants to 10 this year. And Evan brought the heat pretty good with this. I love the tri-colored lotus right there. Good looking plant. He's got some star oil. He's got some of this. This is uh, the baby bull bitus. And I believe that's some Monte Carlo in there. And then of course some Bucephalandra. Not exactly sure what that is right there, but I do love the commitment to the big hardscape, uh, old kind of overpowering in the front, which I like. And then it's got a little like pulls your eye back. You know, given depth in such a small tank is pretty cool. So definitely loving Evan's tank here. And again, I mean, I wish there was, you know, just 20 of these tanks, everyone just showing off their own style, because I hate that it's judged. Like, there's gonna be a winner, but, you know, I hate that it's just judged. This is Christian Galazakis. Love this dude, young dude, uh, from Brooklyn, part of the Brooklyn Hardscaper, shout outs to him. And uh, he has his tank, you can click in the link and see it from last year. He's also worked, he worked at a local shop here and has done some really nice stuff. He actually was given uh, a, a, a jacket that Amano gave Oliver Kanat. Oliver Kanat gave it to Christian. Christian's, er, Oliver Kanat gave it to Kevin. Kevin gave it to Christian. It's just a cool thing and dude's got style here. Uh, to be honest, I actually liked his tank last year more, but uh, this is pretty cool. There's some Bacopa down there. So definitely a fun tank here. 
Um, another competitor from last year, we're gonna roll you around here to William Yu. Uh, William Yu has got some, he, his style is great. He's always got, he was just actually in Japan. He just got back and he's, last year his tank was like a little like a bowl with a Nubius in the center of it. Similar style this year, he's got, all the plants are kind of above. This is a hydrocotyl, I believe, on top here. Not uh, Nubius going on there. So definitely a fun tank. I like I like the, his his different style, man. I mean, both of his tanks last year had everything just kind of up and above the substrate. So shout outs to William. I do got to give some shout outs to the sponsors making this possible here. JBJ, Kevin Pure gave away all kinds of stuff. Ocean Nutrition, Rods Foods. I mean, they make it possible. They help get everything rolling, and they're giving away a bunch of stuff. Christian Velez. Okay. Christian won last year, okay? Christian was the winner. Uh, he had a really, really sick tank. His tank is looking pretty hot this year. Definitely pumped to see the Neons in full effect. So I'd love to know your guys' opinion on this tank. Last year he had a little bit more substrate built up, um, but this year he's got the, the narrow leaf Java Fern rolling in full effect. Uh, really well manicured. Uh, moss in there so I'm pretty pumped for him about that and then I've, like I said I love the the neon tetras I'm gonna roll around over here this right here is Alex this is a new competitor this year uh, love the commitment to the stones I really I've never actually played with that as a medium I love the way he broke this up this is a big aquascaping tip too you can soften it see how he's got like the bigger rocks and then he's got it softened with the smaller stuff right here I really recommend you guys do that. It, it, it creates a natural look and flows like that. So I really like the way that's rolling there. Again, I love the big cave as well. And yeah, I was gonna say if you had anything in the cave, but it looked like that one piece right there makes it look even bigger because it kind of gives the contrast. So really enjoying this tank as well. I think it could use a little bit more plants, but that's uh, you know to each their own. I think it's pretty tight though, regardless. This right here, is my man Kevin Kelly. Now look, I, this is the guy I got a man crush on. I'm gonna try to get him on video later for a later clip. But um, you know, recently went over with Oliver Cannot. Uh, I actually had him do that tank in my daughter's room and click the link to check out that tank he did. He's really just a master with hardscape. He's really good. And I mean, he's coming up out the tank. He's got it out in the front. Uh, he said he was inspired by Sasha Hoyer over a great German aquascaper, but I love it. I mean, you know, I'm, I gotta believe Kevin Kelly's gonna gonna take away this one here. I mean, he's got more in Dragonstone than the than the prize is actually worth. But he's killing it. Uh, commitment in and out. I th I would be curious to see what this tank would look like without the the stuff outside of it. Because I think that I think the effect is so strong would still work. I gotta get a separate video for how he's doing this here. But when I saw that it was plumbed behind, I mean, yeah, I know you're loving this. When it was plumbed behind here. Uh, I knew it was going to be real sexy because it has like pumping just a tiny little bit of water up there. Uh, I think he's got like a little dose pump that's running. I, I need to get the technical specs on actually how this is working, but definitely loving Kevin Kelly uh, bringing the heat. Last year, to bust his balls because he's from Brooklyn and I can do that, his tank wasn't clean in time and nobody voted for it and I thought it would have won. Um, <clears throat> over here, Alex is another new one this year. He's bringing it really hard i don't know what kind of rocks these are and i really really like these rocks i've never played with such a, a red orangish uh, medium like that so i would i need to get with him on that he's using hair grass here and i don't recommend this to any beginners but it's clearly uh doing him well here one of the things with hair grass in competitions that we found out last year is that it takes a while for it to really like perk up and look good which is why we're doing the judging today on sunday instead of last year we did it on saturday uh because it gives the plants a whole night sitting underneath the light and those are good lights too by the way to really perk up and look good all these tanks have been on all night long and they're looking really solid so i'm definitely pumped about that you can see the boost of philandrian here and i don't know if you can catch the shimmer on the boost the boost has like that unique shimmer kind of look going on that i'm really a fan of boost for i love the commitment to the the, the like the like canyon right here like it's got a canyon it's going to go in here and it takes you back i really really uh like the way alex is rolling here I, I'd like to get more information on him actually because I don't I didn't get a bio from him this year But uh, really cool. I mean sharp 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 looking tank <clears throat> And then over here our friends at Imperial Tropicals my man Mike Bernard This guy he actually won a contest. I'll link it up. He won the aquatic experience contest in 2016 with the nano and I'm really uh, pumped to see him bringing it here coming down from uh, 
Lakeland, Florida. He recently was started working with the Imperial Tropicals boys. You know I'm friendly with those people. So shout outs to him, rocking the boost of Philander. Actually, he got that boost from me, come to think of it. Um, and it's looking pretty solid. Love the, love the trees. Look at how he, uh, he built that up too. You see how narrow that tree is and then it comes up and branches around. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I love it. So there's the tent, folks. I mean, that's the, that's the rub, that's the fun. Uh, I will be showing the, the winners of these later. I may come on live and show it. But if you do like this, subscribe. Click the links around and check out the videos from these guys last year. Did a great job. We're going to be doing this again next year. Talking to some other YouTubers about expanding into all of that. Uh, everybody have a fabulous freaking week. I wish me luck getting my voice back. Shamwow got a little loud. Have an awesome one, folks. And tank on. Later.